Hey, welcome back to part two of what creators do. <laughs> you know, part two of you roasting us like crazy. I had to take a little bit of a 10 minute break from part one because wow, wow, these were getting a little bit hectic and I was feeling some type of way. Okay, I was feeling some type of way. Um, the extreme usage of the word um and also not getting to the point instead telling us long ass nonsense that we are not interested in you are mad nonsense <laughs> <laughs> that you are not interested in then why are you watching why if the no hey wow nonsense Telling us long ass nonsense. That's. <laughs> I feel attacked. <laughs> I le Whoa, I legit feel attacked. This is wild. You could. Wow. I. <laughs> I'm scared of this girl. No, I'm not. But like, I'm just. Wow. Long ass nonsense. Nah. Okay, then you can just skip that part of the video, right? Like, like, my thing is that subscribers don't realize and followers don't realize how much control they have over a content creator's content, right? Not us. You don't have control over us, but you have control over the content you consume. So if you don't like that part of the video, you can literally skip past it. If you don't like that reel, you don't like that picture, move on. Don't like it. Don't put. But but to then tell us that we're spewing nonsense. Really? Why are you mad? Not wanting to influence unless they are paid, like Zhuangzi. Okay, I know this girl, and she was she sent me a screenshot where I mean a DM where she explained it in Thara, and she was talking about like like how I typically showcase and share Nivea products because I use them a lot and whatever, but you have influencers that are not willing to influence unless they are paid. Uh, people, <laughs> I get it, but at the same time, it is our job. And I feel like I can't keep stressing that enough. It is our job. We would like to be paid for what we are doing. So if they don't want to, um, if they don't want to showcase the product just for a trade exchange with the influence that I have, you cannot expect me to just show something for a trade exchange unless I love that product. Unless that product is so, like I love the brand. I love what the brand stands for. I love what the product is. I love, you know, and it's a pricey product. If a brand is going to send me a product with 10,000 rand and ask me, can you just do two Instagram posts? But at that time, they've sent me something with 10,000 rand. It adds up. It's okay. I can do that and it's something that I love. I can do that. So it is a trade exchange. Just do this for one or two Instagram posts. I get it, right? Because this is expensive. But if you're going to send me something with 100 bucks and then ask me to talk about it for two minutes in a video, are you kidding me? <laughs> ah. Now I have to set up the video, the camera, the this, now talk about it, come on now. Don't I deserve to be paid for that? Ah, I'm just tired. Don't I? <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, copying each other's content, zero creativity. I think I spoke about this in my, um, unpopular opinions vlog where I agreed in the sense that content has become very similar. You know, you can watch one content creator and see pretty much the exact same thing just with a different face and a different accent and a different whatever, but it's the exact same thing on their, the other person's platform. I totally get that, but it's harder than you think. It really is hard coming up with new and fresh and authentic and this ideas. It really is not easy. 
and if i can see that this is something that people gravitate towards a lot why can't i do it as well what is the problem with me doing it i feel like i'll be doing it authentically my way and is there something wrong with doing that they're all the same boring it's boring how they lack originality it's all monkey see monkey do I'll put the link down below. Why are you lying? Okay, I know this frustrates. <laughs> I know this frustrates a lot of you. I'll put the link down below and then I forget to put it down below. That's the thing with the editing process, right? You're editing, you're editing, you're editing. You export the video, you upload it onto YouTube, you publish the video and you've forgotten to put the link down below. And I understand that, that you are trying to find where you can find a particular product or a t-shirt or um, different uh, an, an oat milk or whatever it is and I understand that but it doesn't stop you from googling it Did I hit a nerve there? We are thinking so many things in the editing process that we actually forget, right? So does it actually stop you from actually Googling it? My power is back. Asking, stop clickbaiting. What the hell are we gonna do now? I agree. Um, stop clickbaiting, yes, I agree. But sometimes we need people to come to the video for the view so that we can get our money. Right? So that we can get a subscriber, so that we can get likes, so that we can get whatever. So I totally get it. Clickbaiting is so wrong, especially when it's far from... Like, if I do a clickbait and I'm like, I'm going to talk about my sister's last relationship, how my sister's last relationship changed or whatever, and then you go into the video and I'm doing a cooking segment for the whole video. I get it. That is so far-fetched from what I've just said. But sometimes we'll structure our title in such a way that will make you understand that this is what you are to expect in the video. You might not see it at the beginning of the video. You might see it slightly in the middle and you're not going to see it at the end. So we're trying to get you to watch a video, even the bands. Um, when they sing or elongate the last word of each sentence when speaking. So, hey, like that. <laughs> Am I being a bit spicy? Well, that's what roasts are about, right? We're being a bit spicy. I hear, <laughs> I hear a chat. I hear a chat. Um, they want to sound cute when they talk or they are doing an ad or something. You have, it's, I don't think it's sounding cute. Honestly, <laughs> no, I, Luna, like, why do you hate us so much, bro? <laughs> why do you hate us so much, bro? No, it's not trying to sound cute. It's trying to sound professional. Like they might be saying, mm, mm, and using the Kardashian lingo, right? And using the Kardashian, whatever. I hear the chat, but it's not really trying to sound cute. It really isn't that. It is being professional. That's all it is. You're just being professional. I can't give you a saw and click, yeah, sure, learn tall, eh, so, eh, this, this, that. I can't talk like that if I'm being paid to promote a product. So I have to talk a specific way, right? When CEOs sit in front of their webcams or they are giving speeches in front of tens of thousands of people and this and this and the other, they can't be like, sure, chance, look around the shop, mama man. So the reason why I started this company is because of this is, we can't talk like that. So I don't think it's trying to sound cute. I, I think it's just trying to sound as professional as you can um, without being colloquial or 
you know, slangy or anything oh, like that. Um, I think this one is a direct dig at a lot of content creators. Apparently, you only shop at Woolies. <laughs> I mean, uh, I mean, I mean, I mean. <laughs> like you have paid partnerships. <laughs> Yo, I, Woolies. Woolies, can I have a paid partnership so that I can continue shopping at your guys' store without feeling like I'm being watched, like, mm -hmm, you shop at Woolies only. <clears throat> yeah, I know, this is a dig, hey? <laughs> I hope it made you feel better to say that. But... <laughs> The lies, like we dumb or something, like we don't see through the fake fluencer. I feel like a lot of subscribers, followers, people who, um, you know, commit and watch our content can tell. After a period of time, I think people can tell that when you're lying. Yup. <sighs> These are a lot. Like, they're honestly... <laughs> um... They're honestly a lot. They're a lot to take in. It's, 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 this is wild. Uh, I'm, I think when you've watched someone long enough, you can actually tell when they're being fake about something. You can see it in their body language and you can see it through their eyes and trying to read body language and, 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 you know, control of body movement and all of that. The love of brands. Come on now. Is that all you got to flex? Stop it. I ain't never seen a Gucci sponsorship because Gucci LV don't care about the black. Hi, <laughs> Tomasana. Hi, Tomasana. Hi, Tomasana. Black people. That's what she's trying to say. Um, yeah, even if they don't care about the black, but aren't we allowed to want to have whatever we want? And aren't we allowed to um, enjoy... I feel excited about sharing. <laughs> even mean, bro. Like you're policing even the things that we like, um, that we feel like I have spent 15, 20,000 rands of my money on the shoe, and I'm proud of myself because it's money that I've worked hard on. It's, it's not... <sighs> like, I... I, <sighs> I mean, uh, I mean, I mean, I mean... I feel like in many instances it is a flex, and I, I get that, but um, in some instances with some creators, we're proud of what we've done or the money we've made or what we've achieved that we're rewarding ourselves by buying ourselves Gucci or Lagerfeld, Gabbana, whatever. Some people are label people and they want to show it. Some people are label people and don't want to show it. Uh, some people, but we should be able to do whatever we want, right? Um, I don't know if I go as far as saying it's a flex for everybody. I think it is a flex. You're right. You're right. You're right. I'll give you that. It is a flex. Um, but I feel like if that person is working consistently and doing hard to get that, if, if somebody bought it for you, that's a different story. Right? If, if, if a man bought it for you, a man gave you the money and you just paid and all of that, it's a different story, right? It's a different kind of flex. It's a, a weird flex, right? Because you, <laughs> that's weird, okay? But um, if you did it for yourself and you rewarded yourself by buying yourself your favorite Chanel or Dior bag and you want to share that with the people who follow you, I, I don't see, um, I don't see where the problem is. Do you ever even know what pop tastes like you're always craving sushi. <laughs> uh, are creators always craving sushi? You know, I don't know. Now I'm feeling kind of guilty because the video that I'm gonna drop, the vlog that I'm gonna drop, I have sushi in the vlog. Yeah, no, y'all are fighting, eh? Ah, y'all are fighting. Okay, shop. Okay. We do eat pop. I do eat pop. I do eat uh, a stampo. 
I do eat mautwana, namayasoho, I do eat those, but I haven't had them in a long time. And I don't eat them regularly. So, <laughs> when content creators say they use a particular product daily, yet we haven't seen it or share, or they share wrong information about it. Hey, you guys are detectives, ne? Yes, yes. Heavy observant, the man. Really? Like you go as far as looking like, yeah, but you only posted it once and that's it. I'm exhausted. Like I literally feel like I'm defending content creators. I'm defending myself. But also at the same time trying to hear your point of view and I'm just like whiling. Like I, I don't even know what to say. When meeting at, at events that fake love is not necessary. Absolutely. That is something that I agree with this person wholeheartedly on. There's no need. If you and I hardly ever speak, at most all you're going to get is, Hey, how are you? Are you good? Shop. That's all you're going to get. Linda, for me, it kind of really irks me when I see content creators that I know and I've spoken to and I've communicated with and they've shared some rather sensitive information about a certain content creator and then they meet at an event, both of them, and they're laughing and smiling and cackling and whatever. I'm just like, fake. Yeah. So even me as a content creator, I see that in and amongst my colleagues. And I'm just like, that's cringeworthy. So if you guys can pick it up as well, I'm with you there. Like, I'm going to give you that one. <laughs> but sometimes you just got to be polite. <laughs> Mentioning something and then saying, I can't talk about it now until it's confirmed. It's true though. Sometimes you are bound by NDAs. Like there's certain things that you can't say just yet. Um, and I understand that maybe you're upset at the fact that then don't mention it at all, period. Just say nothing. Uh, but sometimes we come home and we're excited, right? We're excited that, oh my God, I got a paid gig, but I can't really talk about it. You know, I just signed a contract for a paid gig for the next six months, but I can't really talk about it until I get the go ahead. But I really wanted to share that with you because you're my friends. You're my people, you follow me, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes we get overly excited, but I can understand, <laughs> I can understand the frustration that comes from you in that instance, like, ah, but then why did you say it to begin with? I get it, I get it. When they make posting content seem tedious, God, do they are the ones who chose to be content creators. Do they do that? Are there content creators who make posting content seem tedious? I can't relate. <laughs> I can't relate because I post content regularly. I don't make it seem tedious, so. SARS. Um, how they all want to sound the same. Abo cha, that's on period. Kesana. Nabo love you loads. <laughs> Okay, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I use child, but I, I don't use it as often. But I'll give you... <laughs> yeah, a lot of them do. Uh, Nabo love you loads. Abo kesana. Okay, okay. But why is, it a, why is it an issue, though? I don't know. I don't know. Fake lifestyle. Um, look, the thing about this is, yes, I agree that a lot of content creators try to project a lifestyle that they really don't live on a day-to-day -day basis, like a fake lifestyle. And um, the reality about that is that it comes to bite them, you know, back in the booty sometimes. And uh, projecting a certain kind of lifestyle content creators have tapped into the fact that if I project this, this is a way, 
excuse me, this is a way in which I can get a following. This is a way because people get excited to see, um, you know, unboxings of LV bags and Gucci shoes and uh, Karl Lagerfeld and Wang and this and this and all of that. People get excited to see that and then you get a, a base of people who will watch you consistently because you're constantly doing up unboxings. Um, so content creators have tapped into that thought process that they can see that people love this. People love it when I'm out and about, living a good life, always with friends, lover, family, restaurants, events, living my best life. Content creators have actually tapped into that. They can see that this is what a lot of people seem to enjoy. A lot of people don't really enjoy the fact that I'm sitting in my house and I'm cooking for you guys and myself, obviously. They don't enjoy that. They don't enjoy seeing the, you know, unless there are certain other people who enjoy the cleaning vlogs and the this and the that and the that. And I get that completely. Um, but, um, <sighs> sometimes to kind of, it's a means to an end, to kind of get to somewhere where you want a larger following. <laughs> I'm divulging secrets here, but to get to somewhere where you want a larger following, not my secrets. <laughs> I can tell you that for free, not mine, no. You have to play the game a certain way. If you want to get somewhere, you want to get a larger following, you have to play the game a certain way. Content creators have seen that, uh, you know, talking about showing their man on camera, talking about their relationship on camera, doing marriage videos, doing this, this, this. They have picked up that these are selling points when it comes to being a content creator. So they do it all the time. And their growth will be faster than the content creator who chooses to keep those kinds of things off camera. That's how it works. That's how it works and it sucks, but what are you gonna do? It is what it is. You want them to greet, how? Yes. What I must do? If you are gonna come into, oh. <laughs> if you are gonna come into my DMs and ask me where I got that La Roche Posay uh, serum, Okay, or where I got that water bottle. The least you can do is say, hi, cat. Just a quick question. Da -da 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 -da, water bottle, La Roche Posay. But where did you get that water bottle? Yeah. Hey, man. Really? Um, hi. Because that's honestly how I respond. I respond in that way. I'm like, um, really? Okay, hi, hello to you too. Because I'm shook at the fact that are you aware that you're actually being really rude right now? So you're coming to me and you're coming into my DMs and you're just like, so where did you get those shoes? Where did you get those boots? Hello, how's your day? You good? Shop, I got the boots from Steve Madden. Don't be rude. I'm Tomasana. I'm Tomasana. <laughs> don't be rude that just because we are accessible in the sense that you can dm us and you can do whatever does not give you the right to be rude and that is rude i said what i said though youtube videos where you show half your outfit on a full length mirror like take the camera down really <laughs> yo y'all are demanding man why are you demanding this all Hi guys, yo, uh, uh, this is actually even cringe worthy to actually read. Like some of it is just like, wow. Okay. This I feel was also a dig at me, informing us about your relationships, but restricting us from seeing your partners. One, why do you guys tell us about them in the first place? Two, um, what part of my life can I keep separate to you? Yeah. I need to roast that. So you are sitting there feeling that I owe you that much. I owe you that much to actually show you who my partner is. Why? Why? What I must do? 
what part of my life am I allowed to keep private? You want to see my house? You want to see my partner? You want to see my family? You want to see, why aren't you showing us who your dad is? Why, da, 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 da. What part of my life am I allowed, according to you, to keep private? So I shouldn't tell you? So I shouldn't say it in a relationship that, oh yeah, my partner and I, the other day, were at Marble, whatever, whatever, so that's wrong? Where? Add lame to the list. Add whack to the list. Someone said it's envy because y'all make your work seem so easy. The thing is, most creators are energetic at first and then get us hooked and then they become uh, stagnant and complain when we ask for content. Like Njani, you were the one who wanted to become a content creator. Yo. Ah, I'm just tired. There's a thing in life, guys, ne? It's not even called stagnant. There's a thing in life called burnout. There's a thing... Oh, my power's back. There's a thing in life called burnout. There's a thing in life called... I really can't think of anything else to talk about right now at this time, so I'm not. And... My power's back. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? A. Hey. Hey. <laughs> listen there's so many of these to go so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end this video here if you do want to see a part three definitely like the video please like the video please subscribe to the channel if you do want to see a part three let me know and I will continue with the if you want to see more of these let me know if you want to continue roasting us put it in the comments down below and then I will read out your comment but I'm gonna go I've been filming this particular video for over an hour now actually an hour and a half so I'm gonna go I'm, I'm, I'm done for for the day um, yeah be good Thank you for roasting us. I'm hurt. I feel attacked. But I will see you in the next video. Until then, sayonara.